Hello everyone. I'm so glad you're with me today. I'm Lynn Kruger and I am a life group leader at Wellspring Christian Church. I'm so happy to be here with you today and I would like to be talking about focus. Focus. You know, the Lord tells us in Psalm 121, 1 and 2, that we are to lift up our eyes under the hills. Where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. You know, sometimes my focus gets really off, especially during this time and season of our lives where everything so, seems so different and so confusing. I don't have to tell you about that. You understand. So my focus gets off sometimes and the Holy Spirit has to bring up scripture in my mind and in my heart to refocus me, kind of like a camera refocuses uh, so that you can get see everything clearer. Well, let's look at just one scripture today. I'd love to look at more, but our time is limited. So you can look up some characters where God just saw them right where they were. And the scripture I'd look, like to look at today is in Genesis chapter 16 through 21. And it's the story of Abraham, Sarah, and Hagar. The Lord had promised Abraham um, a son, and Sarah was not able to provide that for many years. So Sarah got frustrated and impatient and gave her Egyptian maid Hagar to Abraham. She did conceive a son, Ishmael, but there was so much conflict in the home that Sarah finally said, Abraham, you've got to get this woman out of my tent. She's driving me crazy. Actually, that's Lynn's translation, but you get the idea anyway. So they did go into the desert and Hagar's thinking at that point and her focus was that she and her son were going to die. Now, rightly so, we might have thought the very same thing, but she was put, she put her son off aside from her. She didn't want to see him die. But as she was grieving and as her son was crying, scripture tells us God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, what is the matter with you, Hagar? Have you ever felt the Holy Spirit, God nudging your heart, asking you, what's the matter with you? I know he certainly has me. Well, he did with Hagar, of course, and he had a promise for her, and that was that Ishmael was going to be the father of, of a huge nation, which, of course, happened through the, through the Arabian people. He's Ishmael, the father of the Arab nation. But her focus and her thinking actually was wrong when she thought she was going to die. When we get in the midst of circumstances or health problems or financial problems or, or confusion, all the things that can happen in our lives, sometimes our thinking is stinking thinking, as a friend of mine often says to me. So what does God say about getting rid of that kind of focus and refocusing on him? First, I want to tell you that I have struggled with this myself, certainly, through my life, my husband Terry had two very major surgeries within a four-year span, actually a year and a half apart from one another, four years ago it started. And he they were very life-threatening surgeries. And when the doctor told me with his last surgery that 20% of the people would not come off the table alive, I honestly just focused on that. It was hard for me to see the 80% would make it. And my spirits and my emotional person suffered from that. During that time, God brought to mind in his word, Lynn, lift up your eyes onto the hills. Where does your help come from? Your help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. You know, God comes with his help in his timing, in his ways. He is the powerful God, the mighty God, the God that knows you, the God that loves you, the God that created you, the God that is merciful and kind and loving and, and he has a plan that sometimes, just as Hagar did not see the plan, he sees the plan and he knows where we are, right where we are. How do we, though, go to God and lift up our eyes? Well, first of all, literally, lift up your eyes. Go outside. Go to your window. Look up. Lie down in the grass. Look up. Remember who he is. Remember his promises in his word. Secondly, for sure, get into the Word of God and stay there. Keep reading. You don't have to always be studying. Read it. Let God fill your spirit and your mind, renewing your mind and your thought life. Don't run away from God's Word during this time. Don't run away from church. Run to it. Run to life groups, prayer groups, Bible studies, because they're your strength you will find. So as we end this, let's remember, would you go with me today to Psalm 121, 1 and 2? 
And let's literally lift our eyes up under the hills. Where does our help come from? Our help really does come from the Lord. Thanks so much for listening.